This is the tragic story of 65 years old Leah Loken who was fatally mauled by a grizzly bear in western Montana last summer, was the victim of a rare predatory attack. Hit that like button and subscribe right now. This tragic event raises many questions about the behavior of these majestic creatures and the impact of human activity on their behavior. Leah Loken was an avid bicyclist. In 2015, she competed in the Mammoth National Championship Enduro and won the Women's Enduro 60 Plus category. On July 6, 2021, Leah Davis Loken tragically pulled out of her tent and mauled in the pre-dawn hours in the small town of Ovando, located along the banks of the Blackfoot River, made famous by the movie I River Runs Through It. This area borders a huge expanse of forested land that is home to an estimated 1,000 grizzly bears. The bear that attacked Loken had approached the tents of Loken and a Texas couple who were camping behind a museum just an hour before the mauling. The couple was able to scare the bear away, but Loken reported that the bear huffed at my head, indicating that the bear had grown accustomed to human food, known as a food-conditioned bear. Loken, a retired nurse, was participating in a long-anticipated bike ride along the Great Divide Mountain bike route with her sister and their friend. Despite an offer to go sleep at a hotel where her sister and their friend were staying, Loken declined and decided to stay in her tent for the night. After the first encounter with the bear, Loken took some packaged snack foods and dry lentils out of her tent and retrieved a can of bear spray. However, her toiletries, which were in two bags that had previously held dried blueberries and still smelled like berries, remained in the tent. Additionally, Food was stored in the saddle bags of her bicycle, just 10 feet away from her tent. The Texas couple awakened just after 4 a.m. to noise as that indicated Loken was being attacked. The man yelled at the bear and deployed his pepper spray after seeing the Bruin pouncing up and down on Loken in her tent. Despite these efforts, the 417-pound male grizzly bear broke Loken's neck and severed her spine, causing instantaneous death according to an autopsy. A nearly empty can of bear spray that appeared to have been recently deployed was found under her tent. Officials said the bear that mauled Loken was shot three days later while raiding a chicken co-op near Rovando. DNA tests confirmed that it was the same grizzly bear that had also raided a different chicken co-op in the hours after the mauling. The bear was estimated to be between four to seven years old. Investigators said, it is important to note that not all bears exhibiting food condition behavior exhibit predatory behavior. However, in this case, a predatory response was triggered in this bear. The June 28th report said, while foraging under the cover of darkness in Ovando, perhaps due to a simple movement made by the sleeping victim or a certain sound made by the victim, the bear reacted and ended up taking the life of Miss Loken. This tragic incident serves as a reminder of the importance of being aware of the potential dangers of wild animals and taking necessary precautions while camping or participating in outdoor activities in bear country. Wildlife officials recommend that if a grizzly bear approaches an occupied tent, campers should seek shelter in a building or vehicle and should not return to the tent for the night. The investigators also urged organizers of the Tour Divide Bicycle Race to inform participants that they are racing through grizzly and black bear country, educate them about proper food storage, encourage them to carry pepper spray, and be observant. It is important to keep in mind that these animals are wild and unpredictable, and it is our responsibility to take the necessary steps to ensure our own safety while 